Welcome back. We are here with part eight of our third reign of our royal family. I need to figure out a better way to say that for real. <laughs> anyway, it is Remembrance Day, so we are going to be heading to the graveyard here, and Aki needs to change out of her Halloween costume because this is inappropriate. Anyway, here we are. Um, I Is this the first time we visited this since Reliana died? Yeah, so anyway, here is um, our graveyard. And here we are going to have Lorena go mourn her mother in the Griffin Mausoleum. And then we are going to go upstairs and see our past king and queen, who are the parents of Gohan, Natsu, and Aki. So here they are. You can see I put some things related to them around, like the little craft box. Reliana was into knitting and cross-stitching. And then Aki was, sorry, Aki is their child. Asa, King Asa, was a scientist which is probably why the aliens abducted him. So there's that. And we are just mourning them. And I think that Gohan and Leto are just gonna have kind of a conversation. Like they're having like a truce right now because it's Remembrance Day and you know, Reliana was Leto's sister and you know, they're just trying to be respectful here. So these two are just going to tolerate each other for the day and you know, do their best to be respectful. Then we have a few other people hanging out. But there is Sunny out with all the aliens. Why are there so many aliens being generated by my game? I don't know. But anyway, um, Natsu is, knows that Aki is currently dating Sunny and she's super jelly about it. So she is going to try and maybe win him over instead. Kind of get him to talk to her. Maybe, you know see if she can't steal him away and um oh yeah well here uh i before i just kind of was going around the uh, royal mausoleum here you can see over on the right that was just there that was the first gen with cordelia and them to the left of reliana's picture was reliana's mother eliza and that gen so um anyway we are what are we doing we're gonna go home i think <laughs> um yeah, so there is the Griffin Mausoleum, and we were just mourning for dear Terry. And also we had... What am I doing? I forget what I was doing with the camera here. I think I might just be showing off some of the mausoleums. I can't really remember. I don't know what I was doing. Um, maybe just checking, make sure I have all my graves. I, I don't know. This was yesterday, so I'm actually recording this voiceover the day after I filmed this, so I don't really remember exactly everything that happened, but we are just going to roll with it. I don't know what I was doing there with the camera, but anyway, we're back home. We are back home, and um, what are we going to do? We are going to have Gohan work on another badge, which is the like outdoor badge, so he's going to dig up a few things and then try to fish, and that will get him working on that badge. Actually, Gohan doesn't even participate in Remembrance Day for some reason. I think, yeah, it's because he's a loner. So we're going to have Aki check on the trees and then I'm going to have Natsu invite over Sunny, be like, you know, trying to get his attention while Aki is in the back there, not knowing that he's here. And so she is going to flirt with him and really try to get him, um, oh, she's angry. Um, these two are actually going to woohoo. They have woohooed in the past. But, um, you know, I mean, now he's dating Aki, so that's awkward, but she is going to woohoo with him, and we are going to see what goes down there. We have Gohan doing his fishing. He was, like, a little glitchy there at first, but he worked it out in the end, and we're going to get that badge there. And then we are going to see how many badges we can get. I don't know exactly what we can do with him for right now because he is becoming a young adult like tomorrow. No, the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow is Lorena's birthday and then the day after that is Gohan's birthday. So he'll be becoming a young adult soon. So whether or not he gets all his badges is probably a no. And also my house takes forever to load apparently. So because Natsu and Sunny are using Leto's bed for some reason, well, it is one of the only, there's only two, there's only a couple double beds here. Natsu still has a single bed in her room, which I probably should have changed because she's a teenager, but anyway. 
Um, so Lorena and Leto are going to use Gohan's bed, but he he was going to go check his badge progress, but he doesn't seem to really notice what's happening here. He is standing right there, and he doesn't even have a clue. So there's that. And I need to actually make him get a clue, so we are going to have them kiss, because Gohan is going to catch these two in the act. So he is mad. Look at that. He is not happy. He slaps her. And it's like, you cheated on me with my uncle? How could you do this? <laughs> um, and she's basically like, Gohan, look, you're a loser. You're not never going to be king. It's never going to happen. So I'm going to go be with Leto. And so she breaks up with Gohan. She gives him back the engagement ring. And Leto's kind of like intimidates Gohan a little bit. Like, don't, you know, say anything to her. Like, don't, you know, just kind of telling Gohan not to bother with Lorena anymore. So Gohan goes and takes the dog out on a walk. And Natsu, who has just woohooed with Sunny, is actually going to take a pregnancy test. And she is now pregnant with Sunny's baby. And so she's going to go tell Leto and she's going to be like, uncle, I am pregnant and it's Sunny's baby. So you have to make him marry me because that's like, the rule, right? It's for, you know, uh, reputation. You know, I don't know why my Sims are worried about their reputations. They all suck. <laughs> anyway, um, so the rule is that if you get pregnant, you got to get married. Um, so Leto is like, great. Another thing I have to deal with, just great. So that is something that's going on there. And um, we are going to have Gohan work on another badge, which is like pr he can do programming to work on this badge. It's also Lorena's birthday. It's also new skill day. So there's that. And um, another thing, too, about Lorena, like I said, she's ambitious. She wants to be queen. She wants this to happen. Um, you know, she's having Leto throw her this big birthday bash with a tiered cake, and it's this whole thing. And, you know, so um, it's a thing. And I think that Leto just likes the attention, likes the power, that kind of stuff. He never had it growing up, and he, like, kind of convinced himself he didn't need it, but then he got it, and it totally went to his head. But for Lorena, she's like, well, if I marry Leto, become queen. He's going to be an elder this week, so she's definitely going to outlive him. So she gets to keep it all for herself. So I think that she's not evil per se, but she's definitely sneaky, definitely manipulative, manipulative, and she is going to get what she wants, no matter who gives it to her. So they're having this big birthday bash. They invited over all the nobility. Gohan is hiding away in the office, kind of avoiding everybody. And so that's what's happening here. Lorena is blowing out the candles. She is becoming a young adult. And there we go. There's Gohan in the office hiding. He's a loner anyway. It's not like he wants to be here. Also, I'm going to have Natsu kind of, you know, come in after sun. Everyone went to this room to dance. I should have, shouldn't have let dancing be on the agenda for this club. But anyway, they all came to this room. And yeah, so she is going to tell Sunny that she's pregnant and be like, hey, I'm, I'm having a baby. It's yours. So he's like, uh oh, you know, actually he is a young adult now. I didn't even realize that he had a birthday when we weren't looking. So there was that. And um, we're going to go collect our badge here. But we are also going to have um, Leto. So I regret doing this in this hallway here. Okay, you two, I'm making them stop. I am making them stop because... We are not having any more babies in that gen. That that was um, Raina and her husband. Uh, they are older. They're like about to be elders. You're not having another baby. So anyway, um, I'm having Leto come here and kind of tell Sunny, you have to marry her now. You got her pregnant. This is You have to do this. And Leto is like <laughs> intimidates everybody, even though he's not an intimidating sim. Like, look at him. He still kind of looks like a baby, too. He's supposed to be about to be an elder, and he, he doesn't even look older. So anyway, so... Basically, he told Sunny, you got her pregnant, you got to marry her. And Sunny's like, all right, well, and I was hoping to get a better picture of this. But of course, people are opening the door when he's proposing. So I can't really get a good picture, which is unfortunate and annoying. And I shouldn't have done this in this hallway, but it's too late for that now. 
but let's just say that they announced to everybody at the party that Sunny and Natsu are going to get married, and um, Aki is just kind of like, what? <laughs> you know, he's supposed to be dating her, and yeah, I could not get a picture because the door went open anyway. So um, Natsu is super happy. She's like, ha ha ha, like I entrapped him. I don't even think Sunny cares, to be honest with you. He's just like, okay. <laughs> um, but look, okay, so Aki's come upstairs, and she's like, are you serious? And Natsu's like, yeah, I got the guy, you lose, blah, blah, blah. And they're both really mad at each other, and so Aki declares Natsu her enemy. She's like, you know what, you know what, we're done. You're not even my sister. And so they are both fighting with each other, and Natsu's like, well, you know what, you lose. And then Layla comes over and is like, hey, wanna woo? <laughs> Layla, you do not understand social cues here because this is not something you want to get involved in so anyway uh, that's probably all the badges we're going to be able to get but that's okay he got like almost all the badges just not two of them I was going to try to do another one where it's like repair so Aki pranks Natsu's toilet and then when Natsu goes to use it it breaks so uh, Gohan's going to go fix it but he has to repair like eight things and we we only have we don't even have time to repair eight things before he becomes a young adult so we're just going to skip that so we are going to, but I am going to have him still, I was making an attempt here, you know. So Natsu and Aki are really mad at each other. Natsu has basically won here. She's having a baby, so she wins. And she and Sunny have to get married, so there's that. I'm just going to get some parts so that we can continue to do some upgrades. This one toilet is going to be really upgraded. <laughs> So there's that. Oh, and then I do have to give Lorena her young adult makeover. So I will be showing you her outfits right about now. So let's go take a look. And I tried to give her a little bit of a more mature look. You know, she is just a young adult, but she wants to look more mature than she is because she's with Leto, who's, you know, older, and she wants people to see her kind of as like a queen type figure. So I gave her formal wear, like really, like, kind of more mature and then her other outfits are like a little younger you can see here but anyway so that's what's going on there here are Lorena's outfits I think she looks really good and I mean she just looks good like she's a good looking sim even like with whatever haircut she looks good so we're also just going to you know what I didn't even change her last name because I didn't know what I should change it to because technically Leto is kind of moved back to the Phoenix family, but his last name is still Kitsune, but um, she, if she marries him, she wouldn't become a part of the Kitsune family because he married into that family. Aubrey is the one who is the Kitsune Grand Duchess, and Leto just married her. So he originally is from the Phoenix family, but he's not a prince anymore because he gave up that to become the Grand Duke, and I don't know what that makes Lorena. So that's a later us problem. We'll figure it out sometime. So we are going to continue to fix this toilet. And it is now Gohan's birthday. And he is, um, he's going to skip school, actually. Even though he's a straight-A student, he's going to skip school. And um, everyone else is going to leave for school, except for Lorena, who I forgot to give a job to in time. But we are going to have her join the politician career as well. And then... We will, um, you know, I was hoping she would go to work today, but she won't because we just joined the job today. So there's that. So I'm just going to have her work in the office for today so that she's kind of out of the way because Gohan is like going to have the house to himself. He's going to be all home alone, basically. Also, he's not, you're not even touching the toilet, friend. Um, I'm saying I'm too much. So yeah, she's going to join the politician career and she wants to be queen. And I also downloaded a mod from Kiara Sims, Kiara Sims, K-I-A-R-A. -A. Anyway, uh, there are a lot of aspirations and careers and events and stuff in, in there, so you can just Google it. And I do have the name spelled out in my description. And we have downloaded the Monarchy mod that she has, so we are going to try that out with Gohan, so I'm sorry, no military career for you. And also, it's really sad. His birthday, which no one is celebrating because Leto won't let him, is just him taking some leftover cake from yesterday and putting a candle on it. It's very sad. So he is becoming a young adult right now all by himself. And I mean, he's a loner, so it's not like he minds too much. But anyway, 
He is becoming a young adult here, and he is going to join the um, monarchy career from that mod, and then also he is going to get the king tree. So he has decided, you know, he's become a young adult, and nothing is working out in his favor. He's lost his fiance, he's lost his position, nobody's helping him. So he's like, you know what, fine, I'm going to take matters into my own hands, and he is going to try and get this kingdom back for himself. So he has decided that he is going to stop sitting around and waiting for things to just be handed to him and take them. So first, let's wrap this up with his little um, makeover as a young adult. I gave him some facial hair. We cut off his, his head on his hair, his hair on his head, <laughs> um, because I did want to give him a more military look. So that's what we went with. I was originally planning on having him join the military, but since I downloaded this mod, that's not possible. So we're just going to deal with that there. But he is looking good. He is a cutie patootie. And I think that he, you know, has a lot of outfits that kind of represent him. And he is going to start making some strides here. So this is where we're going to wrap up with um, Natsu pregnant and engaged now. Aki has lost her boyfriend. Leto and Lorena are, you know, kind of more out in the open here. I mean, not... He's still married to Aubrey, so there's that. Uh, Gohan has basically lost everything, and I mean, it's not even like he's close to his sisters, so he doesn't really have anyone on his side. So he's decided that he is going to make it happen himself. He is not going to wait around any longer. He's a young adult now. He is ready to take back his life. So that is where we're at, and that is where we will continue when we come back. And I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.